Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Crossout. And uh, yes, this handsome, I guess you could call it handsome, machine in front of you is the Eviscerator Mark II. Yes, the long-awaited Eviscerator is back. And uh, this is going to be an interesting one because this is in a much higher power score. In fact, this is 4,403. And it has an auger at the front, which may or may not actually be able to hit the target. We've got the Harvester. Yes, if you've actually had a look at the, I believe it's the Lunatics. This is the top tier melee weapon that you can get from them. And uh, we have some Druz Bars, which are these little chainsaws on the side. So, if we happen to charge towards an enemy and miss, we can still do some pretty gnarly damage to their wheels and other bits on the side. And of course, the auger there is just in case... Uh, they happen to ride up onto the actual harvester itself, then we can actually damage them there. Now, you might be wondering what the other weapon here is, and that is the Thunderbolt Shotgun. This is a rapid-firing shotgun, uh, which has a much higher rate of fire than the previous ones before it, including the rare shotgun that you can get as well. So this is also available from the Lunatics, and you can go and have a look there. So, pretty strong stuff here. Now in the back we've actually got a generator, which is nicely hidden there. You can barely see it. That's a hazardous generator. It's the light version of the two-point generator. And there is an engine here as well. Otherwise we would not be able to move at all, because this vehicle weighs 8.3 tons. It is very heavily armoured, especially on the front, because this is somewhat of a rammer build. Alrighty, and here we go. So, um, we're not the fastest vehicle around, so this is going to be a little interesting. We need to really close the distance very, very quickly. You got a bunch of very interesting machines up here. So that looks like one that's got a bunch of shotguns, a bunch of sledgehammer shotguns, actually, on top of it. And, uh, oh, there's an enemy already. Oh, he's deployed a drone. I've not actually seen somebody actually use the drones before. Right, let's close in. Come on, have it, son! <laughs> and it's just in pieces. Absolute pieces there. Uh, we didn't get the kill for that, but I'm quite okay with that because that is certainly a satisfying result. Alright, they happen to be on the cap, so let's try and close the distance here. Really trying to get it close. We don't have... A car jack, which is now in hindsight is probably a really dangerous thing. However, the vehicle is quite wide, so chances are we may not actually need it. At least that's the hope, anyway. Alright, really trying to come back here. We do slide quite a lot. They are not going to be expecting this. Here we go! Absolutely shredding them! Finish him! Finish him! Alright, we still have our shotgun. We may have lost most weapons, but we still have the shotgun. And we're capping. With only two of them left, we have one chainsaw and one shotgun. But this is honestly as satisfying result as any. Alrighty, here we go. So that last match was obviously a win. You know, this type of vehicle you don't expect to lose too often. And of course the team definitely helped out quite a lot. We did get our main weapons blown off there, which is not ideal. And alright, let's see, I think we saw somebody coming up around the corner there. Let's just sneak up on them. Let's be a little bit sneaky. Oh, I think we've been seen! That's a bot though. That's a bot. And they're probably not going to react to us too badly. Alright, let's bring it back around. Try to attack them from the rear. Here we go. Come on. Oh, we've lost the shotgun. We still have the the eviscerator, though. I mean, we have the harvester. Come on! Grind him, grind him, grind him. Oh, it's gone. It's gone. I need to turn around. Use the chainsaws. Oh, and he took our kill away. Alright, well, we still have all our wheels and most of our health, sort of. So, this is going to be interesting. Attacking from the sides, mainly. Oh, we are absolutely steamrolling them now. Alright, I don't, I don't know if he's seen me. Oh, he has seen me! He has seen me! <laughs> no! 
Alrighty, last match of the day, although I'm having so much fun with this. Now oh, somebody's uh, got a booster on it. In fact, actually, as I was building this, I did think about putting a booster on it. Oops, sorry! Uh, I did think about putting a booster on there, but it really wasn't... wasn't uh, as good as I was hoping. This is also a new map, I've just noticed. Yes, there has been an update to the game. This is one of the new maps, so lucky you guys, we have actually got a match on it. Uh, right. So there's a couple of bots there in the water. There's somebody there on, on the left of us. I don't know if he's seen us. Don't know if he's seen us. Alright, so yes, yeah, so this looks like a sort of dried out seabed, really, with um, a bunch of ships around it. An old shipyard, if you will. So that's interesting. Very following the Mad Max style of it. Come here! Oh! Oh, we've been hit bad. Oh, we've been hit bad. <laughs> that's This is not good. Come on! Grind him, grind him, grind him, grind him. It's enough our teammates coming in. Oh, he's just barely hit us there. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. Yes! Oh, we got away with that. We did get away with that. Oh. So, yes, cannons, the bane of the melee build. <laughs> Alright, let's go in and grab some cat points here. Which will hopefully get us the win and get everybody coming back this way. Because there is only three of us, we could actually cap this out completely. We are missing a wheel though. It's a very nasty cannon hit we took to the side. And of course he had an auto cannon with him which is not good. This is a very very open cap spot in fact, so uh, not great for us. Alright. Let's try to do what we do best. Come here. Come here, you. Come here. No, we've missed. We've missed. <laughs> we've missed him completely. Not gonna miss that time. Oh, well, the match ended. Alright, well, that's all we have time for today. And, uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. This is the Eviscerator Mark II. And, uh, it seems to really be very, very good at close range. But it probably needs a little bit more speed. So, I'm gonna try and work on on that for the Mark III. If you guys want to see that, be sure to let me know down in the comments. But if I do actually build it, I think that's what I'm gonna go for. Try and lighten up the armor a little bit and see if we can get something a little bit more, I guess, a little bit more survivable with a little bit more speed in it. And uh, maybe even a chameleon. A chameleon might work well with this. Not really too sure yet. Uh, it seemed to be quite okay as it is. Just needs that little bit more uh, speed on it to really get the most out of it. But there we have it. The Eviscerator Mark II. This isn't a build that a lot of people might be able to build early on, in fact. You might be able to get something similar using buzz saws from the Lunatics very early on, and maybe even Augurs later on. But uh, as far as melee build goes, uh, melee builds go, rather, I actually really had a lot of fun with this. So, yes, let me know what you think down in the comments. Have you tried a, a melee or rammer build for yourself? And uh, let me know how you got on with it, and if you are enjoying the series and you're enjoying the video. Uh, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you are new to the channel. Thank you very much for watching, my name is Panzer, and I'll see you next time.